Hey there again, this is Deva Oswide and this is uh, SolidWorks 2016 Professional. The last time we designed the terrestrial vessel head as per ASME 8 boiler and pressure vessel code and now we're going to perform finite element analysis on the head to see how it behaves under internal pressure and how we do this we use SolidWorks simulation you can access it by going to SolidWorks add-ins and activating this SolidWorks simulation on your PC. So we go to simulation, we go to new study, then we go to a static study and we want to use a 2D simplification. So using 2D simplification we'll see what it shows in the next page. Yes, we want a uh, we want an axisymmetric model and yes we need to activate the axis and to do that we it's easy you go here go to view go to view you go to display no uh, hide and show yes show temporary axis then we go to axis of symmetry and click on this yes then section plane you can click anyone you want but I'll click the right plane yes so you see you see it shows it in a 2d simplified format for ease of analysis the reason why we use 2d simplified formats is to save iteration time is mostly used for symmetric bodies so instead of wasting time solving about every single point on the torosphere it solves about this 2d point and this 2d point reflects the stress distribution about every part of the body so to begin the analysis we need to set the material first so apply material SOLIDWORKS has a huge database of different materials. Some have the stress strain relation here, which you can access with the table and curves. From this point, uh, stress strain data, where are you? Uh, can't quite find it, but it contains the stress strain data. It's usually used for plastic. Um, applications but what we're doing is elastic is in the elastic domain of plastic so we don't really need the stress strain data so we just pick any material so I'll pick a carbon steel sheet and I'll click apply and you can see the properties of this carbon steel sheet the elastic modulus Poisson ratio yield strength 28268509 Pascal so click apply then we click close so it has applied the material and right now we want to simulate a constant expansion of this internal surface and how does that happen it means that this point is free to move up but as long as this point moves right so how do we constrain that in solid works the first thing we do is we go to fixtures and use the roller slider fixture. There are different fixtures here. There's the hinge fixture, there's the fixed geometry fixture. I hope to cover this in um, subsequent tutorial videos, but for now, I'll use this roller and slider fixture. What we do, we click one side, then we click the other, then good. Then now, um, you may notice a trend. We follow we def we perform this um, finished element analysis step by step. We go from here to from par the parts material to connections. There are no connections here, so we didn't really bother about that. The fixtures which we just did. Now we're going to the external loads. We're acting on pressure, so we we'll go to pressure. So what we do in this case, we just apply pressure to both the internal crown radius and the internal knocker radius. And in this case, we're going to apply a pressure of 4 megapascal 
Or well, let me say uh, two megabytes. Go. That'll be fine. So go to OK. Now we mesh. And this is the process of turning it to discretize elements. So we create mesh. And we can make it as fine as possible because it's a simplified model. But remember, the finer it is, the more iteration time it takes. So it's meshing right now. And meshing is done. You can see it's been discretized into tiny elements. And now we can run the simulation now that everything is set up. So click run study. It won't take much time into a static uh, simulation. So yes, you can see it shows the the different results, the von Mises stress, the displacement, the strain. So now you can see how this head behaves under internal pressure and see how the stress is induced and you can see it's well below the yield strength so it's safe the design is a safe design so there's a huge concentration towards the knuckle radius which is as expected of a terrestrial vessel head so you know you can also generate more plots you can define a factor of safety plot um, you can set uh, the factor of safety plots. You go to go to automatic. You can base it on Vermeer's stress, which follows the Vermeer's criterion of Vermeer's stress over limit stress must be less than one. So this is usually for doctor materials. Uh, carbon steel is uh, pretty much a doctor material, so you go with this one. Okay. So you can see that it's safe. You can also define color coding do that you go to chart options you go to you can define minimum and maximum or a factor of safety plot you go to this frame we go to uh, sorry you can click, click general then to define the color you go to color options you can choose to have just three colors if you want only three or only five whatever your fancy is and we can define the exact color for the rainbow grayscale or user defined uh, see we can select different colors and define our own custom color choose any color of your choice it's okay so it's just a matter of you finding what you want for your application so you can see the lowest factor of safety is 1.41 so it's pretty much safe and the highest here is 1.7 I prefer using a scientific notation um, oh no the floating rather yes this is much better you can now see how the scaling of the factor of safety is so there are many more results you can generate in subsequent lectures i'll show you more and more of this but for now this is all i have time for and uh, please subscribe to my channel once again thank you for watching this video of how to perform finite element analysis on the twist recovery so head